Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. Today we will learn about Laravel Eloquent. Laravel provides Eloquent ORM. ORM is Object Relational Mapping, which lets you query and manipulate data from a database using object oriented paradigm. It provides a beautiful, simple active record implementation for working with your database. Each database table has a corresponding model which is used to interact with that data table. Basically, models allow you to query for data in your database table as well as insert new records into the table. So here you can see this is the Laravel 8 and I am installing Laravel 8 just now and here is my database. So I am creating a database. So suppose my database name is tutorial. So let's create a database. And so you can see there is no records inside the database. So first we need to connect our Laravel with the database. So to connect with the database, we need to say it in environment. And in the environment, in the DB database section, you have to provide the database name after that the db username and db password so here my db username is root and the password is root so in this way we can connect with the database so let's create a model to the migration so to create a model with migration we need to use php artisan make model and suppose my model name is student and if I want to create a migration file with that module, so we need to use the minus m along with this. So here we can see the model created successfully and migration created. So this is my migration table. So now let's check into your directory. So you just refresh and go to your database. So you can see in the migration folder, there is the new migration added the create student table and the above see will get when you install your laravel application so let's open the create student table so suppose uh, here you can see the id and timestamps field so id is basically for the column id and timestamp is for create that and update that so now i am going to create a new so here i am going to create a string type so I am providing a name here and I am going to create another. So here I am going to provide a string also. So suppose here I am going to add my column name is email. So when we will run this migration, the students table will create and this five field will create. So let's migrate this. So to migrate, we need to use php artisan migrate. So you can see the all are migrated. So if you check our database, we can see. So here you will get all the tables and your table is students. So we can see the name, email, created, updated. That. So your table is created. And when we created the model, so in the model folder, we have got a file that is model file that is student.php. So now we need to connect our model with the database. So we need to use protected and after that table. And my table name is the same as the which we will just create it. So my table name is students. So here we have got the connection with the model so you can see our students table have no records so we need to add some records into this table so we need to use so database seeder and we will going to add some data into our database so it's very simple we will use the faker to add some data so just use faker factory as faker and we need to use the faker so i am creating a variable and i am using the faker with the create method so here i want to add suppose 10 records so i am going to add some records so i am using the for each 
and my range range suppose 1 to 10 as index and to insert we need to use db table and i am going to use the students so here i will insert some data so i need to use the insert method so i am getting array so i am using the name and email so we need to use the name as faker name and for email we need to use faker email to run this faker we need to dump our outlook composer so we need to use composer dump autoload and we need to use the cedar command to seed the data we need to use php artisan db seed okay here i am missing one thing that is and I am using the DB here, so we need to use the DB inside this database seeder. So here I will see this. So we can see database seeding completed successfully. So let's check our database. So here we will get the 10 records. So it is the demo record I am inserting. So now let's create a controller to fetch this record. So to create a controller, we need to use PHP artisan make controller. Suppose I am providing my controller name is student controller. So you can see the student controller created successfully. So if you go to a directory, we can see that is in the HTTP controller will get the student controller. So let's create a function to fail the student record. So to create a function, we need to use public function suppose I'm using the student list and here I will fetch the student tables record so we need to use the model so we need to use the app models so here I will use and the name of the model is student So now just call this so suppose I'm taking a variable student and my model name is student and just simply I will use the all so that will face the all records so I am returning the variable that is students and to call this method we need to use the routes so we need to create a route that is in web.php so here we will find in route fuller we have web.php so we need to use the route here so I am creating a route that is a route and I am using the URL suppose and a student list and after that we need to use the controller name suppose here my controller name is student controller and after that the class and after that the method name so before that we need to use this so we need to use the student controller here now we need to use the app HTTP controllers student controller so just copy from controller and paste here and after that we need to use the student controller method so here my method name is student list so here is student list uh, I am providing a name for this route so suppose here I am providing the route name is student.list so if we run this we can see the output so we will get the, all the records from this database so just use this link sorry we need to run our server so to run server we need to use php artisan server so server is running and just refresh this page so here we will get the all records that is 0 to 9 that means 10 record here so here we are using the allocant URM to fetch the records so we can use any additional clause here so if we use the where statement here we can use suppose where I want to fetch the records where ID equal to 1 so just use this and 
if we refresh we will get the only record which id is one in the same way if we use three then i will get the record which id is three we can use where between suppose i want to fetch a record from three to five so here i will just write a three to five and if you run this you can see the record is coming which id is three four or five and you can order by your record so very simple just to use order by and suppose i'm going to order with id so just write down here and if i want to order with ascending order just write asc or if you want to address with the descending order so just write the dsc so if you run this we can see the order is in descending order so it's five four three so there are many examples like that so whatever you can do in mysql laravel have all the functions so this is the basic eloquent example for a single table so here i'm using the student table and the next day we'll discuss about eloquent relationships so how you can get record from multiple tables from eloquent ORM. So if you have any queries, please comment in this comment section and please like and subscribe to this channel for upcoming video. You can see all the available tutorials.